I should get triumph right here and then be fine. God, I need another Nautilus game in my life. Renata game coming, boys. Oh, Renata? Yeah, Renata actually wouldn't have been bad here either. I just got Rel, but I don't know what comp she fits with and against. I mean, I just think she's generally bad. Uh, the only thing she's really good with is Oriana. Am I in the wrong stream because there's actually casinos going and people betting? Yeah, we've revamped the stream, Nami. This is a betting stream now. Where we play League of Legends and we bet on outcomes of things because it's fun. About damn time? What do you mean about damn time? Chat sucks at betting? No, 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 no. I just sucked at making good bets. Oh, what the hell? This guy didn't even take Ignite on Blitz. What a bitch. All right. <sighs> well, it should be a good bet, though. I almost want to do death bets again and uh, for the Scion. <laughs> we'll have more deaths. Me or Scion. Yeah, that seems kind of lame. You know, actually, let's do one to one. Goodbye. Let's do one to one deaths versus assists. Cause I'm a tank support. I'm not. I'm not like a Lux or something like that. You know what I mean? Why well, do one to one, one to one death to assist? Is that good? I feel like that might be pretty fair. Yeah, cause I'm a tank support. I'm not an enchanter, right? Yeah, let's try it. Let's try it. Uh, so who has who is higher? Scion's deaths or my assists? I don't want to get ganked. Oh, that sucks. I thought he'd throw the hook. Like, I tried to precast my anchor on that, but then he just didn't do it. <laughs> I don't really know if that was worth. That was a lot of HP for that. I think I can also fight back now. Oh my god, I can't believe that didn't hit. I feel like if I anchor the Twitch, I should be able to kill him. Yeah, you are? Yeah, I don't know about that one, bud. <laughs> I don't know about that one, bud. Oh, I don't know about that one either, bud. I'm about to have shield up again. Oh, minion secured. Nice gank, loser! Put me on the board. Give me that assist. Am I really just gonna skip my refill? Wow, I am. I can't believe I'm gonna skip my refill. That Twitch guy got one shot. Dude, he died so fast. Yo, I, I bet you wish you had your flash now. Asshole ganker ganking me. All right, I'm gonna add a little bit to the bet, by the way. It's mo- Um, so my assists are worth one point. My assists are worth one point, and his deaths are worth one point, right? But I think what I also want to do is I think I want to make it so his assists are worth half a point. Oh, just f him. I want to f him. Okay, I guess we don't f him. I know his teammate is still. The time, uh, this time it's pretty fair where it is. Okay, we'll just leave it then. My assist versus his deaths. All right, we'll leave it at my assist, his deaths. No convoluted stuff. We'll chill for right now. Bro, my cannon. Bro, you didn't have to do that. My cannon. Bro, my cannon. Yeah, that's fair. Bro, my cannon. I should get triumph right here and then be fine. <laughs> I am clean with it, boys and girls. All right, I'm playing for KDA right now. No, 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 take her. Take, take, take someone else, not me. I'm out of here. See you, losers. Oh, God. I'm going to have to anchor back in, aren't I? All right, let me wait here. See if he tries to dash. Dude, I am... I'm a freak. I'm a freak, chat. Oh, my goodness gracious. We do be popping off. I wasn't sure if... I'm, I wasn't sure if he tried to, like, double dash to the next minion wave and try to get us. 
That's what I was worried about. My deaths don't matter, guys. My deaths don't matter. The only deaths that matter is my top laners. And he's not dead yet. Why hasn't he died yet? What's going on here, man? Why hasn't my top laner died yet? <laughs> Bro, he has zero deaths. This is not, this is not right. What the f He has like, okay, if CS and isn't chain killing himself. I'm so confused. Oh my god, they have so many pinks here. I hit six, I can walk to mid now. I moved his pink, what the f Oh, what the? Oh, you're f***ing sad now. You're f***ing sad now. Kill him! Oh, no, he's gonna die under the turret. No! Oh, shit. We gotta be careful above us. I'm gonna just all and keep guiding. Oh, that's kind of bad. For you! Oh, no, my teammate walked onto him in melee range. I haven't hit, been here much today. You've been missing out, Nanami. The streams have been bangers recently. Also, what the hell? I got one shot him. If I had rolled my health potions the whole time, I'm pretty sure I don't die there. I'm just bad. All right, I have six assists, and my top laner has only died once. I'm kind of like, I'm kind of in shock, actually. All right, here's death number two, though. Did Sion die again? No, he's still only one death. He's still only one death. I gotta keep him alive. I want to win this bet. What the f***? That's f***ed up, guys. Yo, bro. He just punched that guy to death. He just said square out, motherfucker. He boxed him. Jesus. Oh, what the f***? I didn't expect him to be in that brush. Uh-oh. I only thought there'd be two people here. I didn't think there'd be a third. I f***ed up. I baited him. Don't you normally max W? Uh, I always go QW nowadays. I might. There might have been a point where I was maxing W first, but I don't max it first anymore. I like having the anchor cooldown so I can constantly re-engage. Plus, having like a lot of points in the queue early makes it so it's a lot easier to kill people in lane, which I think is the most important part to me. I used to max E if I was in a melee matchup. Like, if you played, if you played like Nautilus versus Leona, like, I would max E. Maybe I wouldn't even max it, though. I'm pretty sure I just put three points in it. Alright, I've got six assists and he has two deaths and I'm really confused by it. Also, I didn't even realize this isn't even a 15 minute game. Or like, we're not even at 14 minutes still. Like, there's still plates on the map. Do you believe that support is the most broken and easiest role as Tyler thinks? So the way I feel about support is, is it's a force multiplier. So when your carries are good, it's a good role. Um, I also think it's the best role if you're the worst player in the game. So in terms of like, it's easy. Yeah, it's pretty, it's the easiest role to get carried as. 100%. I think it, I think 100% it's the easiest role to get carried as. I always ask my chat this question, right? Like, let's say you have a challenger lobby. There are, there are eight challenger people here in the game. I'm out of here. <laughs> I don't think I need to flash, but it just looks cool. So let's say you make a challenger lobby, right? Eight of the 10 people are challenger. And you have two people that are one, are one assigned to each team. This player is diamond four skill level in a challenger lobby. What role do you have the player play? And I feel like most people will tell you that they would have them play support, right? Like most people will tell you, oh, I would have that player who is a diamond four player in a challenger lobby play support. So I think that support is the easiest role to get carried as, but I think it's the worst role if you are the best player in the game. That's how I feel. That's not to say you can't win as it. I just think that it is a heavily depreciated role if you are the best player in it. There's no way, there's no way if you pay, if you watch top lane at all, you would ever say that you want a diamond four top laner player playing against a challenger top laner. You're just, you're just not, um, you're just not honest with yourself. 
That's how I feel. You're, I feel like you're just not honest with yourself. Unless that D4 player is Trick 2G. Okay, that guy is a fake D4 player, though. Why are there four people ganking me on a mid wave when there's a guy on a tier 2 turret over here? These people are psychopaths. These people are trolling. Like, what the f***? They're griefing. Yeah, he's like a grandfather challenger player. He he is not a, he is not a he is not like a real platinum player. That man that man has literally like scarred people who literally went to worlds like licorice dude. Like that guy is not bad. So um oh to, to like finally top it off right. So I do I, do I think it's a broken roll? I think it's really a broken roll for the input of le skill level that you require um to win games. You can be the worst player in the game and win like very consistently if you roll a good team. Uh, team matchmaking RNG, um, which is not really the case for other roles, right? But yeah, I think the role is also bad if you are the best player in, it, in the game. It's just that like when Tyler plays the game, he is like consistently the worst player in the game. So because he is consistently the worst player in the game, it's good. And I mean that full flame. Like when I played against him, he was he was terrible. He he was really bad. Goes in with the wall. Yeah, like, dude, literally, we played a game. I played a game with him on my team, and he played Ergon support and died, like, literally five or six... Like, literally just ran into them and died, like, five or six times, and he won that game, and... Like, he won that game, like, no problem. You know what I mean? It, it was of no difficulty required... Like, no difficulty level at all for him to win that game. And I also played against him while he was in Diamond, like, two or three times, and... He just looked lost. Like, he didn't even know what to do. Yeah, there's just... There's no, like, uh... There's there's also no life responsibility. Like, a lot of times, as a support, if you just, like, go in, take a bunch of spells, and then die and CC something, that's, like, sometimes enough. You know what I mean? And also, how many times have you guys watched my stream where literally, like, I play against a player, he dies in lane, and be because he's shit, he dies in lane, and then he just runs to another lane randomly and kills a guy. Like, how, how common is that? Like, I feel like that's, like, a very common, like, occurrence nowadays. And it's just, like, dude. Like, that guy sucks. Like, he's literally a feeder. <laughs> he's a feeder, and he knows he can't lane anymore because he's completely out of class, so he's given up on lane. All right, I'm honestly really disappointed in this bet. I thought for sure this sign would be a feeder. But he is one and two, and I have ten assists. This one's looking like a. This one's looking like a f game for the Scion bet. <laughs> yeah, he's actually playing for KDA. What the? F also, because of things like um. Okay, here's like also another phenomenon. I think most people who play the game, especially supports, are not very good at laning. <sighs> so because of that. Because, like, most supports aren't very good at laning. AD carries lane with bad supports pretty often, right? So, because AD carries play with bad supports a lot, they learn to play the game, uh, they learn how to lane incorrectly, in my opinion. Like, when I lane with a lot of people, like, they're just not very good at laning with someone who's actually giving them space. So, a lot of times, like, actually being a good laner is almost useless in a lot of solo queue games. Because even when you're doing the, even when you're doing, like, the right thing, uh, your teammate doesn't even recognize or, like, have the aptitude to play around it correctly. Like, I've done plenty of laning phase breakdowns of people when I play with them, and they're, like, diamond, and I've given them all this free space, and then they just don't do anything with it. Because the thing is, is, in my opinion, if you play lane really well, you're usually on a knife's edge. You're, like, you're, like, kind of close to dying all the time. But if you do it right, then a lot of times, what'll happen is, is that, um... What happens is, is that you'll win and you'll be able to um all right well i guess i just win that uh you'll w even if i doubled even if i literally doubled scion's deaths he still lost so it's kind of like being a support a lot of times it's like a cycle effect where even if you try to play well in lane most of the time it doesn't produce very good results you're literally just better off like either playing an all-in character that requires no um, subtlety of lane or 
um, you roam a lot. Or you play like an enchanter and you do nothing. You never try to win or anything because um, your teammate won't leverage your advantage anyway. So it's worthless to do that and put yourself in a, in a situation where you could die to junglers and shit. And so you just play conservatively and do nothing. And that's why like I feel like support just has such a bad feel on it in solo queue in general. Like there's just so many compounding problems. I think not having voice comms is really the most damaging for when you play bot lane, really. Like not having voice comms just is so awful for when you're playing bottom lane with somebody else.